of transportation is the transport of people or goods through non-motorized means. It can be achieved through walking, biking, rollerblading, skateboarding, or even snowshoeing. It is any way of transportation that uses your own power to move you. In terms of active transportation, we talk about making people happier, healthier, and wealthier. In terms of happiness, I mean, getting outside, getting fresh air, not being stuck in your car and congestion um, definitely has mental health benefits in terms of being happier. Healthier, of course, if you're outside getting exercise and fresh air, it's naturally going to make you healthier and wealthier. I mean, it's very expensive to, to operate a vehicle, whether that's paying for the car, gas, insurance, all that type of thing. So in terms of active transportation, it can save you money too. Anytime you displace yourself from one point to another without burning carbon, it's a huge boon for the planet. It's not just good for Fredericton, it's good for the entire planet. It encourages people to get out of their cars, to either walk or to bike, to get out and go do the things they need to do. And again, that's good for, for the planet, it's good for the person physically, and it's uh, good for everybody mentally. The big benefit is it delays needing to make big improvements. I mean, if we need to widen roads for vehicle capacity that's it's very expensive, it's very disruptive, and it's very bad for the environment. So anything we can do to get more people out there walking, biking, instead of driving their automobile certainly is going to, at the very least, delay when we need to do other roadway upgrades. So Fredericton has a pretty extensive active transportation network. The thing that we're probably most known for is our trail system. It runs right through the heart of the city on both the north side and the south side. The city was, was fortunate. There were some people with a lot of good forethought that when um, the trains left the city or when we no longer had trains, the city was able to take over a lot of the, the former rail corridors, which really provide great connections throughout the city. So as of today, we have about uh, 35 kilometers of, of paved trail. What's great about that is it's not only great for the summer, but where we pave a trail, we then commit to maintain it throughout the winter. So that means we're gonna be plowing it, salting it, sanding it for, for year-round use. In addition to that paved trail, we have about another 35 kilometers of unpaved trail. So those are more at the exterior ends of the city, but really for a city this size to have over 70 kilometers of trail is, is incredible. Beyond that, we have uh, bike lanes and marked bike routes and some of our other major routes. Um, and we have sidewalks. I mean, it's, it's a high priority to put sidewalks on, on our streets, to have sidewalks on both sides of the street and some of our major roads. So we have over 250 kilometers of sidewalk in the city as well. So a lot of different ways for, for people to move around the city. Um, and of course, as we move forward each year, we're always looking to, to expand that and, and look for opportunities to increase our, our active transportation. Fredericton has this wonderful network of nature in the middle of the city that allows you to get from almost one end of the city to the other. So it's a great uh, infrastructure that we have here. The success of the trails, um, if I can point it to any place at all, it's the users. The people of Fredericton have embraced the trails right from the start. I use the trail system uh, almost every day. Uh, I walk my dog in the mornings along the river, which is really beautiful. I also bike on the trails. I also longboard on the trail systems. Uh, and then I also run sometimes too. There's a really awesome 5K loop where you go across the train bridge and back across the city bridge. Uh, I do that pretty frequently. We're really lucky in Fredericton uh, to have these trails. A lot of this waterfront uh, property in other cities, it might be developed into businesses or into homes. It's really awesome that Fredericton is keeping it for the public to use and enjoy, and I think it opens up a lot of opportunities uh, for people to have a nice green space right in downtown Fredericton. Active transportation has many benefits to people as well as the communities they live in. It is important for cities to plan and design for all modes of transportation, be it vehicles, transit, or active transportation. It is essential for the long-term growth and health of a city that all modes are incorporated. There's a number of projects that we're continuing to look at in the future. Um, certainly we want to continue the paving of our trails further and further out. Um, it does meet an ongoing obligation to, to maintain them through the winter, but certainly we're seeing a a growing winter cycling here in the in the city. And really it's it's trying to nudge people away from you know just comfortably taking their car everywhere to trying trying new modes, whether that's walking, biking. I mean I've made that that change in myself where I used to drive downtown 
be a little bit stressful every day. And now having that shift to taking the walking bridge or walking and cycling, I really see the benefit in terms of just making you happier to start the day and end the end of the day. So really just trying to nudge people to consider those alternate changes. Active transportation is not only a great way to get around, it also helps people become happier, healthier, and save money. For cities, it helps reduce climate change, delay expensive infrastructure improvements, and improve the well-being of the residents.